Hey guys! So, happy October to all of you. I cannot believe that it is already October and September has come to a close. I cannot believe I completed my first month of college and just that September went by so quickly. I cannot believe that it is already October and that this month Halloween comes and then Thanksgiving comes and then Christmas and then the new year. It just all comes so fast after October comes. So today for you all, I'm going to be filming my September favorite. I don't have that many products, but everything I have I've really been enjoying. So, let's go ahead and jump into my September favorite. So, the first product I have been loving this month has been my Naked palette which I feel like is a featured member of a lot of my favorites videos but this palette is just so great and I just always find new eyeshadows that I love in it so for this past month the three colors I have been using on my eye every single day I'm not kidding as long as I've been wearing eyeshadow I've been using these three colors I have been using virgin which is just a really nice light shimmery color Sidecar, which is a deeper brown with a lot of shimmers in it. And I've also been using Toasted, which is kind of a pinky brown color. So like I said, every single day that I'm wearing eyeshadow this past month, I have been using those three colors. I use Sidecar as my full lid color, Toasted as my outer third and crease color, and then I use Virgin as my highlight color for my inner corner, which really brightens up your eyes. I just really like the way they look on my eye and just the way they mix together and all of that. So I have been loving this palette this month. Next product I have been loving this month is an old favorite mask that I recently rediscovered my love for and it is the CoverGirl Lash Blast 24 Hour Mascara. So I got this back I don't even remember when I got this, it was that long ago, but this is just such a great mascara and I really love the results it gives my eyelashes. So I already have pretty long eyelashes, so this mascara really just gives you a lot of volume and makes your eyelashes look very full. And as you can see, it just has a very chubby wand with very short bristles that are rubberized. This mascara is very natural looking, it just gives your eyelashes, it looks like you just kind of dip dyed them in black mascara, so it doesn't really change the length of your eyelashes, but it definitely gives them a lot of volume and Fullness, which I love. The lasting power is amazing on this mascara. I do not have the waterproof version, but this lasts all day with no smudging, no smearing, none of that. I can put it on my lower lash line with no smudges or anything. So I really love this mascara and I'm really happy that I rediscovered my love for it. So this has been a favorite product of mine this month. The next product I have been loving this month is something I got when I went to New York this summer and it is the Loctane Dry Skin Hand Cream and I probably did not say that right. Loctane? So I have been using this hand cream a ton and as you can probably see I have used it all up. So I get really dry hands all year and I just don't like it. My hands usually get pretty scaly and dry but especially as the months get colder. So I've been using this every single night and I have completely used it up now so I will definitely need to repurchase a new one of these. So I've heard so much about this brand and just how nice it is for your skin and just the moisturizers in it are amazing. I always hear people rave about this brand. So when we went to New York this summer I decided to pick up a sample at Sephora and I'm completely in love with it and I will probably purchase it again because it just makes my hands so soft. I really feel like it plumps up the skin on your hands and just makes it look fuller. It just keeps your hands moisturized all day. If I put this on my hands at night, my hands will feel moisturized and replenished and plump for the rest of the day. So I really have been loving this hand cream. I will definitely want to repurchase The next product I have been loving this month is a lip product and this is the NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss in the color Tea Rose. So I got this lip gloss because I heard Miss Glamorazzi or Ingrid here on YouTube talk about it and I already love the NYX Mega Shine lip glosses so I thought why not try out this color and I am so happy that I did because I am obsessed with this lip color. So as you guys can see it's just kind of a deep rose mauve color and I think it is super gorgeous and I just love the shade it gives my lips. So instead of completely masking your lip color it just kind of enhances your natural lip color and just gives it kind of this tint which I really like about it. This just gives them the prettiest deep rosy glow and it really just when I put this on it completely brightens up my whole face and just makes me look more awake and I just love what it does for my complexion so I have been loving this lip product this month. Next product I have been loving this month is another NYX lip product and it is kind of the same color as the NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss in Tea Rose. So as you guys can see these two products are very very similar. The NYX Extreme Lip Cream in the color Pinky Nude. So this is basically the NYX um, Mega Shine Lip Gloss Tea Rose but in a extreme lip cream form. So what it says on the bottle about the extreme lip creams is it's not a lipstick nor is it a gloss. It's like nothing you've ever experienced before. It's liquid lipstick that goes on with 
full extreme color and intense shine and I definitely agree with that so this is just so cool it really is like liquid lipstick it is like lipstick that has been melted down I don't know it really does go on like a lip gloss but give the color payoff and intensity of a lipstick which I think is really cool and these are very extreme they are quite aptly named because the color in this bottle is going to go exactly on your lips and give you extreme intense color so what I've been liking doing with this is I put it on the center of my upper and lower lip and then I blend it out with my finger so then it just kind of leaves a nice stain on my lips and then I've been putting the NYX Mega Shine lip gloss on top of that. I just really like what that combo has been doing for my lips. It totally brightens up my complexion and it just gives me a really nice color for the fall. So I've been loving this product this month. The next product I have been loving this month is a perfume and it is the Betsy Johnson by Betsy Johnson perfume and I know I've mentioned this in quite a few favorites videos before but I finally actually got a description of it so I can actually tell you guys what it smells like so I got this from a website so let me pull it up it says Betsy Johnson by Betsy Johnson perfume offers the fragrance of tangerine praline pear red apple and grapefruit blended with musk freesia and black currant this perfume is for the woman who delights in her femininity. So basically this perfume just has a very sweet, warm smell and it's really a perfume that you can transfer from day to night. I wear this to school and I think it smells completely great but then I'll wear it for a night out or for work and I think it smells just as nice as well. It just really has a very nice, light, delicate, feminine smell. It's not too fruity and it's not too flowery. It's just a very nice musky, warm, lovely, gorgeous, old Hollywood, glamorous smell to it. So I go through phases with this perfume and right now I'm in the phase of loving it. So I have been loving this perfume this month. The very, oh my voice, ah! The very last product I have been loving this month is Essie Top Coat in Good To Go. So this is a rapid drying top coat and it completely does that, which I love. With this top coat, if you paint your nails with kind of a tackier color or one that takes a while to dry, if you let that color dry for about 20 minutes and then put this on, your nails will be dry, I'm not kidding, in 5 minutes and you can completely touch things and use your hands and you don't need to wait for your polish to dry. So this top coat really just does an amazing job at making your nails dry really quick, which is good for an impatient person like me because I don't know if this happens to you guys, but I will have nothing to do and I'll be like, oh, let's paint my nails and then I'll paint them and have 50 trillion things to do right after that and then you always end up messing up your nails. So this really helps just make your nails really dry. It gives your nails a really nice shine and sheen and it just, it really makes the color last too, which I really like. It keeps it very chip resistant and just keeps your manicure looking fresh for days and days. So I have been loving this product this month. Okay guys, so that was all of my favorite products for the month of September. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I was liking for this month. I want to know what you guys loved in the month of September, so definitely film a video response or type up what your favorites were in the comments below. Now that it is October, I would love to know what Halloween tutorials you guys are interested in seeing because I would love to film them for you guys. I'm definitely already thinking of doing Audrey Hepburn inspired Halloween tutorial because I love her and I think that would be something really fun and easy to do for Halloween. So yeah, definitely leave any Halloween requested videos in the comments below. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave anything you guys want to see in the comments below and I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Bye guys!